What's good YouTube, it's your main man Coder, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be making a 3D terrain in Godot 4, because everybody really seems to like that kind of stuff. So first I did all the stuff in Blender with the terrain, and if by now you don't know what stuff I'm referring to, here's the rundown. I delete the default cube, I add a plane mesh, subdivided a bunch, add geometry nodes, add a set position node, combine X, Y, and Z node, and then a noise texture. And from there, I just edit the property so I get what I want. Now you want to connect the combine X, Y, and Z vector to the set position node, and specifically you want to connect it to the offset then you want to take the fact property on the noise texture and connect it to the z axis on the combiner node. and then you have to edit the properties in the noise texture to get the terrain you want so after i was done with that i exported the terrain and imported it into godot 4. then i got into godot and i was using a grass texture and at first i was going for the usual look i go for which was like realistic in tone then i decided to go for a much warmer look i decided that the lights were going to have slight shades of yellow and orange because i looked outside and saw a tree and i saw that the leaves were green but there was a lot of yellow coming off of too. And it's not fall, so that had to have been sunlight. So I went for this look in my terrain by changing the color of the light source and also by making the sun a little bit more visible. Well, actually, it's more like a lot more visible. It's literally right there. I put the normal map on two instead of 16 this time because 16 was going to make the terrain look really sharp, which I probably should have went for. Did I talk about the CG mesh problem? Maybe I did, just forgetting. But basically what happened to the terrain was I did some weird scaling stuff to the terrain while it was in Blender. So then and that messed it up in every other view, including the Godot view. And I didn't want to go and make a whole new terrain to my solution. Now, my main issue was that the terrain's faces were flipped due to whatever strange scaling thing I did while I was editing it. So this time what I did was I got a CG mesh node. And with this node, you can load a mesh onto a CSG shape. And this is helpful because this node has a flip faces property that you can just enable. And that fixed my issue with the terrain. Yeah, that was actually the first thing I did. I don't know why I'm just not talking. After that, I was working on the lighting and the things I was talking about earlier. So yeah, this is the finished project. Project, I got the look I was going for because I always do. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Have a great rest of your day and I'm out of here.